Hi, my name is Penny and welcome to There Can Only Be One, my new show where I take two games that are similar and put them head to head, review them, discuss them and share my thoughts, and ultimately decide the winner of the two. The games could be similar in any number of ways including genre, gameplay, even animation style, release date, system, there's no rules set in stone for this just yet so if you do have any suggestions for any future games that you would like to see go head to head, definitely go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. For the first episode today we're going to be putting two of my favourite racing games from the 90s and arguably two of the best racing games from that area against each other, Diddy Kong Racing and Mario Kart 64. Let's start out with a little bit of history about the two games. Mario Kart 64 was released in early 1997 as a successor to the really successful Super Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo. It sold 9 million copies, making it the second most sold Nintendo 64 game of all time, and numerous Mario Kart releases followed its release for consoles, handhelds, and even an arcade version. Diddy Kong Racing released later that year in November, and being the first and only one in its series, it had nothing to go off from previous releases. It did use Diddy Kong from the Donkey Kong series as its main character, but it was also partially introduced to introduce some new characters to the Nintendo 64. You could say this was pretty successful, seeing as Banjo and Conker both went off to star in their own platformers on that console as well. Diddy Kong Racing sold 4.5 million copies, so while it was a commercial success, it didn't come anywhere near Mario Kart's 9 million, so Mario had it beat in that area. Two sequels were planned for the game, with one of them eventually being released as Banjo Pilot for the Game Boy Advance, while the other was scrapped during Microsoft's acquisition of Rare. Diddy Kong Racing did at least get a remake for the DS in 2007, which is better than nothing. The actual racing mechanics in both of these games feel pretty similar, and while going back to play them now definitely feels really dated, for their time they were spot on. Diddy Kong Racing was released later than Mario Kart 64, and while the kart handling felt similar in both games, Diddy Kong Racing definitely had the upper hand here by allowing players a choice of three different vehicles with different stats, carts, hovercrafts, and planes. The different choice of vehicles definitely brought a lot of variety to the game because each track could essentially be played in three different ways. Both of these games included power-ups that could be found on the track, Mario Kart in the form of item crystals, and Diddy Kong Racing in the form of balloons. The balloons in Diddy Kong did stack to give you more powerful items, which was definitely a nice touch. These items can be found over 16 courses in Mario Kart and 25 in Diddy Kong Racing, including 5 boss battles. The track design is great in both of these games, with Mario Kart offering a little more variety because Diddy Kong's tracks all fall into one of five different themes. While Diddy Kong does have more, Mario Kart definitely gave us way more memorable tracks including Choco Mountain, Koopa Troop Beach and even the ridiculously long Rainbow Road. You can even find some of the Nintendo 64 Mario Kart tracks in newer releases of Mario Kart today, which is a testament to how well they've stood up compared to newer designs. A lot of racing games tend to skip over a story mode and this generally works out pretty well. Racing games in general don't really need a story to still be enjoyable, and a lot of the ones that do insist on putting in a story mode don't always do it very well. However, this was not the case for Diddy Kong Racing, which included Adventure Mode, a mode that allowed players to experience a story involving a wizard pig from the future, unlock new courses, even unlock a new character, and once you'd finished it once you could even play Adventure Mode 2 that unlocked mirror courses and more hidden items. Mario Kart 64, like every entry into the Mario Kart series, didn't include a story which definitely pushes Diddy Kong forward here by quite a bit. When it comes down to it, both of these games are fantastic, they're both absolute gems from the Nintendo 64, providing solid fun gameplay for single player and multiplayer, lots of charm, great memorable music and tracks, and just so much to enjoy. However, there can only be one winner. Mario Kart 64 gave us a fantastic sequel to Super Mario Kart with updated graphics, 3D courses, and tracks that can even be found in today's releases. Diddy Kong Racing did come later than Mario Kart 64, and while it didn't have a successful game to go off from previously in the series, it gave us a great game with a pretty expansive story mode, a lot of gameplay to be had, it even gave us some fantastic characters that would go off into their own series after this game. For those reasons, when it comes down to Mario Kart 64 vs Diddy Kong Racing, I have to declare Diddy Kong Racing as my winner. Thank you guys so much for watching There Can Only Be One. Please go ahead and leave any thoughts you have in the comments below, including your own opinion on these two games and your own personal winner, along with any other general feedback from the show and even suggestions for future games that could go head to head. If you check the description below, you'll find not only my Twitter, Facebook and Tumblr links, but also a link to an online survey where you can pick your winner from Diddy Kong Racing and Mario Kart 64. Go ahead and pick your favourite and I'll announce the online winner at a later time. 
Thanks again so much for watching. Remember that you can like and favorite this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to Super Pantyland, my channel, where I post gaming news and videos pretty regularly. Otherwise, thanks again for watching. Enjoy YouTube's Geek Week, and I'll see you again soon for more gaming videos. Bye! I feel like maybe this poster should be changed to Diddy Kong Racing now to show where my alliance lies.